From your comments and our support forums, we know that many content creators are using RME audio interfaces for their productions. Especially podcasters enjoy the built-in mixer and flexible routing options of Total Mix FX. Many of you would like to know how you can record Skype calls for your podcasts. So let's take a closer look. To this date, Skype is very unflexible when it comes to audio. The current version of Skype version 8.50 is still hardwired to the main output of your operating system and gives you no options except of choosing the input and output device. This should be your RME audio interface in both cases. When you set your RME interface as an input device, Skype will automatically listen to the first input. In this instance, the microphone preamp of the Babyface Pro. For the output, Skype will send all signals to software playback channels 1 and 2. This means that incoming signals are going to this stereo channel. To record the incoming signals, we need to send channels 1 and 2 to one of the inputs of our Babyface Pro. Normally, this would involve patching cables on your interface. Luckily, there is a smart workaround. RME's unique feature loopback lets you send every output of your interface back to the respective input without patching cables, making complex hardware routings a thing of the past. You find loopback in the channel settings of the output channel. Once activated, the output signal is sent back to the respective input channel. To record your voice and the Skype session separately, we send channels 1 and 2 to one of the unused ADA channels. Now we activate loopback. Open up your DAW and select your microphone channel number 1 and the loopback channel and arm both tracks. Now you can record your voice and the caller simultaneously. Thanks for watching.